Welcome everybody. I hope you're keeping safe during this uh, interesting time. Um, I'm here today with uh, my peer James to speak to you about UEVA for detection of APT29, leveraging the MITRE ATT&CK framework. We'll get into the details around the specifics around the MITRE ATT&CK framework, as well as what the APT29 threat group is doing, and then we'll get into a bit of a demo uh, leveraging UEVA. Myself, uh, Neil Correa, I am a cybersecurity strategist with Microfocus, and I will hand it over to James to introduce himself. Thank you, Neil. Uh, yeah, this is James Lee. I'm a principal solution architect and also data scientist in Microfocus. Yeah, that's me. Back to you, Neil. Thank you, and let's get right into it. Perfect. So first off, why, why MITRE ATT&CK? What, what is the MITRE ATT&CK and, and why is it used by security operations teams around the world? This framework is globally accessible. It's a knowledge base containing a very extensive list of tactics and techniques based on what has been seen in the real world. The MITRE organization got together and, and created this knowledge base to, to help make some of the attacks and, and help focus security operations teams around a framework and a methodology to address and mitigate cyber risks. It, without this framework, it's, it's really uh, ad hoc that security operations teams have to determine what risks and which areas to focus on. This framework really provides guidelines around how to target and, and mitigate risks relevant to the industry, relevant to the organization, relevant to what's occurring in, in the wild. MITRE has gotten together uh, with this framework and, and really to, to meet its mission of solving problems for a safer world by bringing communities together to develop more effective cybersecurity. Uh, this attack framework is open and available to any person or organization uh, and no charge. The, the large areas that uh, MITRE groups these attacks into are around initial access, execution, persistence, privilege escalation, defense evasion, credential access, discovery, lateral movement, collection, and command and control. And with that, we'll go to the next slide here. Thanks, James, around APT29. Now, APT29 has been around for, for quite a while, since at least 2008. Uh, most notably, they were detected as uh, compromising the Democratic National Committee starting in the summer of 2015. The, the reason we decided to focus on APT29 first is related to most recently their attacks that targeted organizations in Canada, the UK, and the US who are focused on R&D for a COVID-19 vaccine. It's a very hot topic and a very um, important area for the world, really. And it, it appears that APT29 is focused primarily on stealing information and, of course, intellectual property are related to the vaccines being developed. It doesn't seem to be for um, additional nefarious purposes, but uh, of course that could change. Uh, APT29 is, is very focused and successful with their spear phishing attacks, so targeted uh, attacks through phishing. And, and once they're in, they, there's a number of vulnerabilities that are being leveraged, such as Citrix, uh, Zimbra, Pulse Secure, et cetera, that are being used to exfiltrate the organization. Uh, additionally, they go through a number of different uh, groups or names. Uh, Cozy Bear was referenced by CrowdStrike, uh, Cozy Duke, the Dukes, um, et cetera. And, and that kind of sums up my part of this uh, overview. So James, I'll hand it over to you to get into the, uh, the demo. Thank you, Neil. Yeah, so here we're going to use uh, Meta Attack Navigator. Uh, this is the new version 3.0. One just released a few months ago. So you see just the, this framework uh, is a little bit different from uh, Neil show you uh, because of different versions. Uh, so here you say uh, APT29, this is the um, the uh, the raspberry uh, attack pattern. I say start from fashion and, uh, and then after the uh, account was compromised and then the adversary will try you know, we will uh, install and deploy some programs and try out the ways to uh, bypass the access control uh, or uh, circumvent uh, elevate privilege mechanism to stay in, inside and launch more attacks. And finally, you know, poker one to discover uh, some valuable assets and uh, use proxy to 
connect and communicate with the command and the control service. So the advisory can transfer uh, data out or download more uh, to prepare uh, more attacks. Uh, if you are going to uh, put APD29 and uh, intercept coverage together, you'll see some over layers here with uh, green color. So that means uh, from this mapping, you'll see intercept can cover 100% APT29 techniques. And uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, intercept UI to explain this. Uh, after intercept, ingested billions of events and run um, around 450 unsupervised machine learning models, get rid of some noise and uh, false positive, and finally we just got uh, prioritized 22 risk entities. And if you go down, you will see the top five risk case users here, and if we go click Joshua Newman as uh, a use case to show the coverage, uh, the technical coverage here. Uh, you see anomalies and the violations. If you scroll down, you will find hundreds of the anomalies. Uh, if you look at from the beginning, you say uh, the Joshua Newman and the user account was compromised, and the guy downloaded a lot of data from uh, Twitter and other uh, website, and then uh, he deployed and executed the files and also created some uh, template uh, by using uh, Microsoft Office Word or Excel and some text file, and the poke around to reach out to different uh, data repositories, and even got into domain controller to collect more credentials. And finally, you know, he uh, uh, used uh, proxy uh, to send some data out. Uh, so this from this one, uh, plus we have customers and uh, they are running the re uh, real world use cases and also we have red team uh, uh, attack emulations and uh, finally you know we got the coverage here is uh, still need to be updated because we have more um, techniques covered so yeah this is my demo uh, back to neil thanks james hopefully that was a helpful overview of uh, how the miter attack framework can uh, detect APT29 attacks um, through UEVA technology. And we are looking to have additional videos such as this in the future. So uh, stay tuned. Thank you.